Danny. I'm Danny Dye and I'm in <laughs> France. I'm here for episode one of France's hardest tracks. Okay, wrist so what I might drop. Bitch, don't talk, you going out town. I done made six half for the whole week. Blood wanna play, then I'm going no tea. I done made four, five, seven on what? I hop in that scat and I'm bending your block. I'm working on one scrap, well, let it go rock. My little and got it, I bet he gon' pop. Good morning. Good morning, Isaac. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you, Vicky. How are you getting on? I was doing really well the second before that. I've instantly got tired. We're off to Toulouse. I don't know the name of this, so I'm gonna get it wrong. Front Coos. Front John Coos. Evan? Front John Coos or something like that? I'm not doing it. <laughs> Front John Coos. No, not Front. 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 Oh. Oh, well, there you go. We're off to drive the. Well, we're not. Steve, who isn't here yet, is gonna drive the Extreme E car. Hopefully. That's my favourite distort distorted picture of Steve that we got. <laughs> it's so good. Guda, who's the team manager for Veloce Racing, has said very clearly that Steve isn't allowed to drive unless he can prove himself not to be a lunatic. Hello viewers. <laughs> Morning. How's it going? Have you ever done any off-road racing? Not really. It's good. So it's a good start. We're just saying Scooter. We've got to try and convince you to let Steve drive the car. What's the what's the tick boxes for you that you want to see? Probably a brown envelope with some cash in it. <laughs> Where's the ATM? <laughs> hey, fine. I'm on the aisle seat, so if I need to tactical chunder, I can make a run. I'm making a change today, the liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away, that's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I... So we're in a car rental place. Um, I hope, I can't see the Ferraris, but I trust that we've got one, right? That was the game of... Uh... Car Tetris going. It looks like we've completed it, right? The level of fuel is full, so we're winning. <laughs> Am I now following the sat nav? Yes, yeah. that's going to Franchon yeah. Coos, which is here. I'm Danny Dye and I'm in <laughs> France. I'm here for episode one of France's hardest tracks. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. The test has already started. Oh, the windows are open. <laughs> you getting it for socials, okay? Yes, all of the content. <laughs> uh, we're on a dirt road to hopefully the final destination. What about our lives? <laughs> Thanks, Steve. I recognise the jacket, I don't recognise the guy. No, <laughs> neither. There it is. Oh, the Polaris, baby! Is it fair to say that's what you're most excited for on the trip? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what gave that away, Isaac. But yes. How are your shoes holding up with the water? Timberland's doing well. So. More than I can say for Steve, I think. White was not the uh, the colour of choice, <laughs> but I'm here now. Nice. And honestly, though, if without that rock, I think it would be dangerous. But the fact that they put the rock on top, it's top tier safety. Um, yeah, it's a it's a starter move. Putting a rock on top of the barrier just keeps the weight down. Center of gravity is lower. Um, yeah. That's nearing levels of gibberish. That I've been nearing. Arav has been Arav. You're a news reporter. Ria has been this Ria. Is your BBC. And Steve has been Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never been uh, compared to Niran before. So there we go. So it's not a good thing. The Extreme E car's got the red light on the battery, which means it needs to go in and check why. Um, but silver lining for us is that we get to go and play in the Polaris. Oh. Okay, drive it first. How are you feeling? I've never driven anything like this before, Steve, so that should fill you with loads of confidence that um, yeah. you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, God. I saw you were driving on the French motorway. It wasn't too encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> right, which way? Straight? There's a wild extreme e car on there. No touchy touchy. <laughs> Do not touch the car. I feel like electricity can jump as well, so that's just not good. Good, I heard you guys say no touchy touchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's green now. Oh, it's green, yeah. Yeah, but it still won't turn on. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's still no safe, touchy touchy. I'm staying in my safety cage right now. <laughs> so it's permanently live. We're just getting an error. So they've already checked the car several times. Obviously, you have to go through the process of rebooting it again now. Let's say there was a current running through the car. What what would you do then? You're dead. <laughs> we have to try and isolate why it's yeah, got a problem. Before you can move on out. Point, and then, yeah, and then... We, we can cut off the main power supply and isolate it to just right. the battery. Cool. All right, so there's a battery error on the Extreme E car behind us, so that's going to get towed back uh, to the, the pits or the 
I don't know what you would call it, but now it's time for Steve to get in the Polaris. Where's the ignition? Uh, uh, you need the key, which the, uh, oh, no. Where is, is the key? It's currently in my pocket. <laughs> my bad. I put that in my pocket knowing in my head I was like, I'm going to forget to give that to the next person. How do you turn this on, Steve? I found it. Don't worry about it. Woo! Started? To the surface yeah. and put your mind away. They dropped us here on a dying planet without permission. No contact. They're trying oh, to offer you oh, opposition. What about my struggle? Be funny, they probably didn't take me. Got them snakes and they huddle, watch who you entertain. All about my freedom, so I'ma need them to come correct me. Thinking I'm your enemy, all your energy is directed. I shed a tear for my people, I struggle to be connected. I got that call from my cousin, I'm glad we reconnected. Why they always say, and I'm moving, making it, trying to slow. Wish I could get I want one. <laughs> that was two wheels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Evan is the unsung hero of driving these things. Underrated. Wouldn't say that. He keeps himself. He keeps himself modest. Thanks. Thanks for that, mate. I am filthy. <laughs> Jeez, and I've, I haven't got spare jeans. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I came out to an off-roading adventure in white shoes and no change of jeans. You've had a stinker. I've had, yeah, I've had a mare. Going shopping tonight. I'm going to give it the beans, but there's another shot down the bottom that we can get as well. Yeah? He's just done the most ridiculous donut. Perfect. It was sick. gone over that jump pretty quick and something's broken on the back so this shaft here if you see that one coming from the front like when you turn it's like not turning this is uh this is the polaris equivalent of coming back with your head down how do you think this is going to impact steve's chances of getting a drive in the extreme well, it wasn't steve driving so hopefully zero and how about your chances of driving the extreme my car? chances were already zero and uh, now they're minus 207. So we've arrived at the test course. It is bucketing down with rain. Um, we've had some problems with the car yesterday, but they're okay now. We are going to go out for a couple of passenger laps of Lance. Excited, Steve? Very excited. I think um, it's an amazing car just looking at it. So to be able to experience the speed of it you know, first hand would be incredible. Oh. Say behind the scenes content. <laughs> TikTok megastar <laughs> inbound. <laughs> Okay, Steve, ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. No one else is. <laughs> so cozy in here. And so what? It's really comfy. Really nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it won't be out there. I'm gonna be safe. Tell the app keeps making it. Wait, gun, I'm safe. That is ridiculous. I've never, I can never imagine a car going off road that fast. The acceleration, the braking, just the way it rides any bump. Like, huge bumps. Like, I thought, you've got to slow down for that. And it just 
just goes flying over it like it's nothing and the car's just fine. It's ridiculous. There's a lot of water around and you know the car's perfect so that's uh, good news for that. Um, and the suspension's feeling really fantastic. Um, so some nice improvements from when, when I've last driven it. Um, yeah, much better. All right, obviously we know why we're here. We've come to try and get Steve in the car if we can. From Veloce Racing, they're actually here to do some, some business. So what is the testing all about? What's the main thing you guys need to achieve for yourselves and for the team? So I think we got to just, you know, get a whole lot of, uh, of experience of what's happening with the car, with different changes, what does it do, how does the car react to that. So Heather, you've not, this is the first time you've drove the car, right? Yeah, it's the first time. How do you find it? It's very fun yeah. and interesting and very different from what they used to. Uh, getting cold up here. I think you two are up to drive. Cool. Yeah, now you want to drive. Yeah. It's just like that. There we go. <laughs> so they haven't got much time, you know. So they get make to the most drive it, but you don't get to drive it. Well, hopefully I will. <laughs> It's a bit of a waiting game, obviously. Um, they're all out testing. Yeah. What do you reckon, Steve? Do you think he's going to let you or not? I don't know. I think I, on the way here, I got in the passenger seat. We had a good little chat. Yeah. So I got to know him. <laughs> Warmed him up a little bit. They want to trust that you're not going to destroy a very expensive car. He just said it costs like 1.25 million euros. <laughs> so like. Oh, yeah, I understand if he says no. Yeah, exactly. And it's the time thing and everything like that. You want time to spend oh. the five minutes to get in the car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just like that. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, let's do it. Not the greatest most thing ever. Now, we look forward to it. Um, you know, Lars just took us out a moment ago and just seeing what the car can do is it's unreal. I was looking at his like career earlier, we were talking about the things he's done. He's like very capable off road, like he knows what he's doing. So uh, really good guy to have in, in yeah. the car with you. I love 
love you to death, but I told you the truth. I Unbelievable. Yeah. I was like barely pushing, but the car is just, it just does everything you want. Yeah, incredible experience. Incredible. I, I love that. He was obviously tentative on the first lap, having never, never driven something like this before, but really got into a nice start on the second, and yeah, really good, really impressive. You don't have to be so kind. You can be mean if you want. No, it was really good. You've got massive potential. So yeah, really, really nice, really cool. That was ridiculous. The car is just, I barely even pushed it, but it's so capable. Just go over any bump, just, just rides it like it's nothing. The acceleration is unreal, the brakes are unreal. It's just a crazy machine. You know, it only had like three minutes, so I'd love to just get back out there again. For this whole test that we're doing this, this week, they allow seven full charges of the battery. Each charge lasts about 18 minutes, so really not long at all. So I'm glad they kind of let me just have five minutes at least. So that's very generous of them. But yeah, I absolutely loved it. Right, that is the end of the weekend here in Frontong. Frontong Ku? Front, front, John Ku. It was the Extreme E test either way. We're in the south of France, we're done. Steve managed to get in the Extreme E car, which was awesome. We did have quite a lot of fun in the Polaris until we broke it. I didn't break it until he broke it. He was in the car with me at the same time, so I think it's a joint effort. Anyway, more importantly, Extreme E, the final race, the Jurassic X Prix on the 17th to the 19th of December. Make sure you go to support Veloce. Make sure you subscribe, like, and let us know in the comment section what you want us to do next.